NASA's James Webb Space Telescope could do the unthinkable. It may reveal the presence of alien life, but not via a noble interstellar message, colossal megastructure, or some other testament to the supreme wisdom of the extraterrestrial variety. How would the Webb Telescope achieve this? Stay tuned to find out how. Launched in December 2021, the Webb Telescope has continued to power up and unfurl its suite of highly advanced instruments and sunshield, respectively. Now perfectly positioned in the orbit of the second Lagrange, L2 point, beyond the Earth's orbit of the Sun, where thrusters are no longer needed. Webb is aligning its golden honeycomb-like mirrors in preparation for the most awe-inspiring tour of the universe ever achieved, and it's going to blow even the Hubble Space Telescope away. One capability Hubble lacked that scientists expect from Webb is the first direct capture of images of alien worlds in orbit of distant stars. If all the conditions are right, Webb might even pick up signs of life. It's an exciting possibility, which is why detecting bio and techno signatures on other worlds has remained a popular topic for years. Here in our solar system, a recent discovery of phosphine lurking in Venus's atmosphere led some scientists to wonder whether a microbial life form might have created it. And this discovery led to a new proposal for detecting plant life, since plants generate energy via photosynthesis, a process detectable in infrared wavelengths, as visible light is swallowed up by chlorophyll. An alien world lush with foliage might register in Webb's array as a clear red edge, according to a report in Universe Today. Using data from the Webb Telescope, scientists on Earth might only require a single pixel image of a faraway alien world to glean enough information to strongly suggest the presence of biological life in the cosmos. Detecting more complex life, perhaps intelligent, like ours or better, could be more complicated. But the best way to guess how we'd find it is by examining how we show up on Earth, but from a point of view of space. Our civilization releases massive amounts of waste heat from countless households and the endless production of multiple industries. Add to this the signature glow of artificial light through the night, and from low Earth orbit, our planet is bustling with activity. But from a distance, these signs of light become fainter, which means anyone looking for presence of humans might have to scan for chemicals. Crucially, the best way to detect a society like ours from deep space is by looking for the traces of the chemicals we produce and put out into the atmosphere, specifically compounds that wouldn't be generated on a planet like ours without human industry. It's ironic that the damage done to our biosphere by many of these compounds could be the way alien civilizations on distant worlds spot us with their telescope. But it also means we can do the same to them, provided we have a telescope with enough power. NASA's Webb Telescope could detect CFCs on distant alien worlds. In the preprint study, a team of scientists explored how we might look for these synthetic chemical compounds specifically, chlorofluorocarbons (CFCs), which are generated by industries that use cleaning agents and refrigerants. This is a compound that infamously tore a colossal hole in our planet's ozone layer in the 1980s. It got so bad that their use was banned internationally in 1987, in a bid to lower CFCs to more manageable levels. But looking for these potent greenhouse agents with long atmosphere residence times elsewhere in the Milky Way would almost certainly reveal the presence of a thriving alien civilization, perhaps struggling with the same excesses of industry that are threatening the viability of human life on Earth. Depending on the distance between Webb and an alien world with CFCs or some other harmful chemical compound in its atmosphere, humans might be forced to speculate about the alien civilization's current status. After all, there's no guarantee that our civilization will survive its current suite of social and ecological antagonisms. If we spot an alien world 1,000 light years away, we could be looking at a world that has evolved beyond pollution-creating energy sources. On the other hand, that alien planet may have failed to correct its excesses, or might even have already destroyed itself from nuclear annihilation. Since light has a finite speed, the only way we'd know for sure that an alien civilization is definitely there, as we see it, if it's close enough to minimize the temporal lag in images due to the speed of light. In conclusion, the web might detect alien intelligence by picking up traces of air pollution from the excesses of an alien civilization much like ours, according to a recent study that has yet to be peer-reviewed. NASA's James Webb Telescope teases with one more preview of an enticing star. It's just been three months since NASA's James Webb Telescope started its journey, and it's already showing results. Despite its mirror segments not being lined up, the telescope has released an image of an exciting star, according to a NASA blog. Lee Feinberg, who is the Optical Telescope Element Manager for Webb at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, said in a statement that the team still has work to do, but is increasingly pleased with the results seen so far. He added that years of planning and testing are paying dividends, and the team could not be more excited to see what the next few weeks and months bring. The new image released in Webb's first ever stack picture of the star HD84406, and it gives an idea of how sharp the telescope's eye will be once it has reached its final form. The term stack refers to the shape and processes the telescope had to undertake in order to produce the image. NASA's engineers began with a process called segment alignment. This is when all 18 of Webb's beryllium and gold-coated mirror segments are carefully placed into alignment with one another. The next step is called image stacking, and is where the term stack came from. 
In this process, the engineers activated sets of six mirrors at a time and commanded them to repoint their light to overlap. Once all these steps had been completed, NASA was able to produce an image of the faraway star by using Webb's primary science instrument, the NRI cam. Now that a major step has been fulfilled, NASA will move towards the next phase before making the most complex and most expensive observatory fully operational. HD 84406, a star in the Milky Way galaxy, appears more than just a shiny bright focus in the photo taken by the telescope. According to NASA, the star was chosen not for any scientific significance, but only for its brightness and location. What makes this image not just beautiful but scientifically significant is the tiny specks that can be seen all over the image behind the amber-colored streaks. Those tiny specks are actually age-distant galaxies. This is referred to as a deep field. Jane Rigby, who serves as the operations project scientist for the James Webb Space Telescope, said in a press release, This is going to be the future from now on. Wherever we look, it's a deep field, without even really breaking a sweat. We're seen back in time to galaxies that were seeing the light as it looked billions of years ago. The star is located 1.6 million kilometers away from Earth. Once all the gear of the James Webb Telescope is deployed, scientists are predicting that they will be able to see some of the first stars that sprung up after the Big Bang. Next Steps what is next for the powerful telescope? The tool has just undergone stages 2 and 3 of a 7-step process that aims to fully align the telescope's mirrors and get all 18 segments functioning as one unit. As the Webb telescope completes each next phase, the images it will produce will become clearer and clearer, as never seen before. It's an exciting time for astronomers everywhere, as they wait for Webb to reach its final complete form and hopefully unlock some of the cosmos' deepest mysteries. Now that you've watched the video, let us know what you think by leaving a comment in the section below. Thanks!